welcome back to my channel my name is Nandipa it is so good to be back again to my regulars thank you so much for joining me and if it's your first time I welcome you welcome welcome and welcome if you do like this video please make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and hit your notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my next video so today I was going through some YouTube videos and I was just looking at them and thinking what can I do to my hair like I need something different because my hair does not curl like I see everybody's hair is curly and all of that you know how it goes you know what they say if your hair is straight you want it curly and if it's curly you want it straight well my hair does have a curl in it but it's not as defined so I really wanted some definition to my curls and then I came across this video by Nat yeah, let's try it. Okay. Natural 85. Yes. And um, this is a video she made a while back. Apparently she's been using this method for a very, 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 very long time. So it's a flaxy gel, the DIY flaxy gel. And I was like, oh, let's try that because I have flaxies. So let me try it. So I went ahead and I tried, I made the flaxy gel. And yes, so um, let's get on to it so I can show you how to actually make it and I'm going to try it on and we're both going to see how it works. Now please note this is my first time um, making this gel so hey, I don't know how it's going to come out. But she did say it's very simple, there is no way you can mess it up so ho, ho, we'll find out very soon. Let's get on to the video. Okay, so let me start by apologizing first. I did lose the footage where I was actually doing the measurements, the first part of the video. This is how it goes. You do need two and a half cups of water and you need a quarter cup of the flaxseed. You put it in the stove, you turn your stove up to a medium and then you are going to let it boil now when it starts boiling please make sure you keep stirring at your mixture so you do not get the seeds stuck at the bottom of your pot or your pan whatever you're using i have to be honest i wasn't actually sure about the consistency of what it should be like as you can see i keep checking the consistency and i was like is that fine or is it not fine and i wasn't quite happy with it so i let it boil a little bit longer and you're going to see it um i think i let it boil for a little bit too long actually i did let it boil for like 30 minutes and um it did evaporate the water did evaporate so i ended up with um less of the mixture it was still more than enough though but i think i did um i let it boil for a little bit too long so finally i was happy with the consistency so that's the consistency it has to be like snotty kind of like sticky you can see you've got um left in the spoon that i was stirring at it's quite snotty yes so i was happy with this consistency so the next thing i did i took it off the stove and i put it aside i let it cool down for 45 minutes you can let it cool down for 30 to 30 minutes to an hour that's completely fine so once it was cooled down i took a stocking and then i had an empty container and um so we are going to sift through that you can take whatever stocking you have as long as it's clean and whatever container you want to use that's absolutely up to you okay so we're going to cover the container with the stocking to make sure that it's going to catch our mixture and then you're going to take the cooled mixture and you're just going to add it on there you can have a look at that consistency look at that it is so sticky now if you find that your gel is too um it is too tough or it is very hard you can actually add some water to it and you're going to get the right consistency but there was no need for that it was absolutely fine now i do have to warn you the next step is going to be very gross okay so don't say i didn't warn you it's quite um gross really but yes that's how it is so what i did was just trying to sift through um the gel to make sure i get everything in there now the angle is not so great i will change the angle you will see as we continue along so all you're trying to do is get as much of the gel 
out as you possibly can without getting the seeds. This is why you need the stockings because um, the seeds won't come through, which is great, which is what you need. However, if you want to use a sieve, you have to use it while your gel is, is hot. So from the stove and um, you can use your sieve, but I think this, I just did her method. I think it works best really. So they are once trying to get everything out. I did warn you though, it, it does not look so great. So that's what was left and then it's all done. And look what it looks like. It's, um, it's a great consistency. It's a gel, literally just runs straight through the fingers. But that's what I got. So this mixture is ready to be used. You can keep it in the fridge. That is quite fine. Once you've um, used enough in your hair, you can keep it in the fridge and store it in the fridge. Okay, that will so be quite good. So let's right get started. Here. You can put it, it in a, in a um, squeeze container, applicator container, if you like. Um, but I'm just going to use it straight from here. You did see how I made the video, and it is still gel like. Look, I made this actually during the day, and now it's actually um, late in the evening. And it still has the same consistency. So. It is not much, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to cover my whole head, but we'll see how far we go. So let's get to it. Let's see how this is actually going to work. I do have my hair in a protect, in a protect, <laughs> I do have my hair in a protective style. So we're going to take that out, loosen that out, Ooh. bear with me. So we're going to have just a little bit, hard, a small part of it, it's going to stretch. Here we go. So this is my hair. Now I'm going to be looking in the mirror right over here. Okay, so this is my hair. Let me get close so you can have a look. Can you see? Not much curl. Really, seriously, there's not much curl to my hair. So we're going to have... This is just water, guys. It's just, just warm water. Warm water because I have um, low porosity hair. So... I always use warm water. Okay, so this is even after the water. Can you see? Curl. Mm -hmm. Even closer. Curl. No. Okay, so let's see how it's going to go with this gel. So I'm going to take, let's take this part first. Let's see if I can come closer here. I am looking in the mirror, okay, so I just have the mirror right in front of me. So I'm going to take this part, look at my hair again. Can you see almost no curls, so let's wet that again with the water. Okay, it is wet, it is ready. For the gel, it's so good. Now let's take the gel and you're gonna apply it on. Oh, oh, can you hear that sound? It makes sounds. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Did I apply too much? I think I applied too much. But look, no, <laughs> yes, no kidding you guys, look, 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 look at the curls, oh my gosh, look at those little curls, seriously guys, look, look, my hair has curls, no way, oh my gosh, Oh, stop it, I like it. Uh. Well, <laughs> guys, my hair has curled, so we're just going to continue doing the front part to see how much of this we'll be able to cover. Water. 
watch again. You see that again? Not much curl. Watch that again. You see? Not much curl. Let's get in with our gel. And this time I'm gonna try not to use too much gel. I can't really show you because it's so gooey and I'm gonna use this much, okay. It's so gooey. Oh, it's still a lot. Literally still a lot, but okay. Hey, I'm joining the curl gang. my hair is still curling like seriously I'm not joking like look at this <laughs> can you see I'm gonna try and see if I can actually get um, see what my hair when it's kind of like dry look look this is curls this is curls, guys, no kidding. My hair is very, very short, so it might be very difficult to see. Very close, but I can promise you, I see curls. Okay, so I'm going to continue with that try to do as much of my head as I can. Once everything is finished over here, I am going to come back and show you the final results. Okay guys, so that is it. Um, so that's actually what I got. You know, all in all, I am actually happy with the results because my hair is very, can you look at that? Can you see the definition in my hair? Now, my hair is very fine. Obviously it's very short, but it's also very fine. So you don't really see much of um, a curl. So I'm actually very happy with what the flaxseed has done. I'm really, really happy with the results. You can see it over there. If I do that, probably see it more. Okay, I just need the product to absorb. Um, yeah. All in all, I'm actually very happy. I think I will be using the flaxseed a little bit more. I'm gonna see how it works in terms of trying to gel my hair back, trying to really do like a sleek ponytail kind of thing. I'm gonna see how that holds up, but my hair also feels very moisturized, very hydrated, so this is pretty good. I know fenugreek, I know flaxseed is also very good for the hair, so um, looks like we're going to be in for a nice long relationship with flaxseed over here. I'm truly happy with the results, and yeah, so try it out at home and see how it actually works for you, and if you do enjoy it, and if you do like it, obviously it's much more of a natural um, route to go to, so I am pretty much happy with my hair and my curls. 
I think I'm going to be mixing with a couple of things because I do love the hydration that it gives me. So I'm going to be using flaxseed a whole lot more than I am right now. So thank you so, so much for um, watching guys. If you do like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit your notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for joining the family. I love you all so much. Nibene minem nandi, ndini tanda nungi makaya.